Okay, so this video we're talking about Studio Suite Lite. So Studio Suite Lite is an optional add-on responsive web app that provides lightweight access via desktop and mobile browser to Studio Suite. Uh, it's a standalone server app that lives on and talks to your Studio Suite server to be able to broadcast that out to browser uh, or mobile devices uh, wherever they may be. Uh, the seats, the user seats, are significantly more affordable than a full seat uh, of Studio Suite. Uh, and it's intended for editors, engineers, camera operators, graphics artists, assistants, and so on to be able to log time, uh, change task status, etc., without launching or occupying a full seat of Studio Suite. Uh, and by design, uh, no financial information is available in Studio Suite Lite. Uh, and if you've been using Studio Suite a long time, this is essentially the new version of WebGlancer. So let's take a look. So here we are in the regular browser access of Studio Suite. And just to mention it, uh, most of you know that Studio Suite can also be accessed in FileMaker Pro as a desktop application, uh, which provides the ability to do uh, customizations and so on. So we're going to hide that for now. That's not the point of today. Um, what we do want to talk about, though, uh, is Studio Suite Lite, which I've got on this second tab. Now, a minute ago, I said it was responsive. Uh, and what that means, if you don't know, is if I resize this window, we're going to see everything kind of reflow. Uh, and I can now scroll down uh, as if I was looking at this on a phone uh, or any, you know, it could be a tablet, anything of a different screen. The point is that everything kind of flows around. Uh, and just to prove that, let's go into Reflector, which is an app that is essentially showing the same thing here on my phone. So I'm holding my phone in my hand right now, uh, and I can scroll up and down on this. Uh, and what we're seeing here is essentially the same information. Um, the daily notes that are going on, I can make any changes to that. Uh, these are the different projects that are going on today. If I wanted to touch on one of those, it'll bring me into that project, and I can scroll down, and I can see all of my uh, resources that are on this project, including myself, John B., the senior editor. That's me. Um, so I can touch on that, and that'll open up a little window here where I can adjust these times. Let's say I was supposed to work 8 to 2, uh, and because I'm really good, this actually went till maybe, let's say, 1.30 p.m. I'll hit OK. Uh, and then I'm going to change the status uh, to, well, I guess it was complete. Uh, all right, I'm going to change it to, how about meeting, just to show. Uh, and then I'm going to confirm uh, down here at the bottom. So even though I've done that on my phone, I can go back into uh, my browser. Uh, so we can edit these things here as well. If I want to click on project, it brings me into this. Uh, and you're seeing some of that responsive uh, behavior. Uh, let's take a look at calendar. Uh, and this will open up in a new tab uh, in your browser. The first load takes just a second. And here it is. Uh, and we can do things uh, here like uh, move things around. Uh, if we want to change from one resource to another uh, or change the status or time, we can certainly do that from within here. Uh, and we can keep this uh, separate like that. So uh, nice to be able to make some of those changes uh, from the calendar here. Uh, now, uh, if I want to go take a look at uh, contacts, I can get into all of my contact information here. I can look up phone numbers and so on, scroll through them just as we normally would. Uh, next up is equipment, so I can take a look at uh, all of the equipment inventory that I've got, uh, scroll through, serial numbers, uh, barcodes, uh, but it's nice to be able to see uh, some of this information, maybe from on the road, something like that. Uh, next up we have library, so this is a, a list of all of the digital physical media assets that are related to a particular project. Uh, and then, uh, of course, projects I showed you a minute ago. Here's a list of them all. One thing I didn't mention is you can search. Um, anything I can do on this desktop, by the way, I can do on the phone. It's just easier to see here. Um, if I want to change any of these statuses, very easy to do. Next, I'm going to go into tasks. And this is where we can see all of the tasks that we've got. I can go into the detail of a particular one, change the status to, let's say, in progress. Maybe I want to change the due date. I'm not quite done today, so I'm going to make it uh, for the 11th. Get player, player rankings. I'll say uh, mostly done, something like that. Uh, obviously, I can do this uh, on my phone. That's kind of the whole point. Um, and so that's pretty much it. Um, responsive web app um, allows you to uh, do whatever you need affordably um, from, a, from your browser. Uh, for people that don't need full access, and also those folks uh, are able to access, access this via uh, their mobile devices. Uh, so that's about it. If you have any questions uh, or you're interested, uh, you can go to studiosuite.com 
send an email to info at studiosuite.com uh, or give us a ring, 800-450-5740, uh, or outside the United States, Canada, or Mexico, uh, try one 440 Thanks so much. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Hope to hear from you soon.